Miss Fine, come on! We're gonna miss the premiere! What can she be doing up there? Blow drying, sir. <laughs> Niles, why does it take women an hour to do what a man can do in five seconds? Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> OK, I'm ready. How do I look? Fine, now let's go. Fine, I need gorgeous. I'm changing. <laughs> I, I, I meant gorgeous. Why didn't I say gorgeous? Fran wearing machino. I can't believe it's the first night of Hanukkah. Max isn't even here. Darling, you know your problem? You don't know how to keep your man at home. Well, I can't even figure out how to keep you at home. Niles, you have really outdone yourself this time. Thank you, sir. Another Pop-Tart. Uh, no, but I could go for some more of those leprechaun things. <laughs> they are magically delicious. Miracle soap washes away fat. <laughs> Shower and shed pounds at the same time. <laughs> well, Ma, that's perfect for you. You can use a bar of duff to get rid of your duff bar. <laughs> Ladies, tell me, what could be better than my new play being nominated for a Tony Award? Mm. Your face on my grandchild. <laughs> no, no, seriously, Sylvia, I've been nominated for five Tonys. Oh, Mr. Sheffield, I'm so... Am I coming too? Of course. Happy for you. <laughs> Hello, I, darling. Miss... Mm. Mm. Uh, Miss Fine, uh, I mean Fran. Uh, oh, I mean... what difference does it make what you call me after the honeymoon night? It's just going to be... <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad you got my message. I really wanted to see you. Uh, Miss Fine. Oh, I... Mr. Sheffield, you want to play that game? OK. You're the boss, and I'm the nanny. You give me a raise, and I'll give you one. Stop it! Stop it, Miss Fine. We're in your mother's house. So, the couch has protection. Fran wearing Todd Oldham. Ah, would you calm down? I'm on my way. Oh, well, if you want an honest answer, yes. I think serving miniature Franks out of brass is tasteless. Uh, Miss, Miss Fine, do you really think you should wear that? Uh, you don't want to distract the man doing the deed. <laughs> He's only got his mind on one thing. So, uh, who's the lucky man? Danny Imperiali. What? I can't believe it. After he lied and cheated on you with Heather Biblo? How could you? Well, if I could forgive him, I would think you certainly could. Right. Oh, well, then, this is good news. Oh, I couldn't be happier for you. You couldn't. Ah, oh, me too. I, uh, I, I suppose this means you'll be leaving us. I guess so. But I'll stay on until you find someone to replace me. Well, well no one could ever replace you, Miss Fine. I mean, oh. Who else is going to turn up to breakfast in those loud, inappropriate bathrobes? <laughs> <laughs> My philosophy professor has so opened my eyes oh. to realize that my eyes may not even be open. Yeah. I mean, I may not even have eyes. I may not even exist. Yeah, well, according to your father, neither do I. I mean, do you realize that red may not even be red? I mean, blue may not even be blue. Well, thank God Gray can still become black, according to my mentor, Lady Clairol. <laughs> you know what else Steve says? Nah. You call your professor Steve? Oh, just over cappuccinos. You're having cappuccinos with Steve? Uh, you're talking too much, honey. Daddy's getting nervous. Shutty uppy. <laughs> Good boy, bad boy, bad boy. <laughs> well, there's good news and bad news. Uh, the good news is Boo Boo did his business. The bad news is he did it in there. <laughs> you, you assassin! Oh, 
Oh, Miss Lang, I don't blame you for being angry at me. Where's that 45 automatic Chuck Heston gave me? <laughs> Please, if you'll just give me a minute of your time. To what? Finish me off? Okay. Fake, 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 fake. Now, get out. Ooh, fake? Real. Oh, that's what fake, fake will get you. Fran wearing Dolce Gabbana. I'm a little anxious about this whole kite thing. Why, sweetie? We're gonna have fun. What if I let go of the string and lose it? I'm not good with separation. Uh, you're not gonna lose it. A kite is like a really cute guy. You give him some slack, let him fly free. Then at the end of the day, you yank his string and reel him back in. And you hang him on a hook till you want to use him again. Ow. Ma, what are you doing here? I came to talk to him. Hi. Beg your pardon? How can you sleep at night knowing my daughter is living in that dump, traveling back and forth at all hours of the night? Ma, you can't talk to my boss like that. And you, pack your bags. You're moving back in. No, I'm a grown woman. I'm not afraid of you. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Mommy. Sylvia, it appears your daughter has made her decision and it's simply not your place to... <laughs> I should have never blamed my mother anyway. I should have known that guy was out of my league. Oh, no, Miss Fine, he wasn't. He duped you. Yeah, but I was right for the duping. Once a girl's exposed to a guy like you, so debonair and classy, there's just no going back. Well, I have been known to turn a few heads. Oh, please. <laughs> Miss Babcock needs an exorcist. <laughs> Wanna hear something funny? Mm -hmm. The therapist said that I was subconsciously avoiding a relationship. Oh, please. With whom? I know. I know. I mean, believe me, if there was a guy out there, single, successful, attractive, I'd smell him a mile away. What's that, Aramis? Yes. Hey, I know. Why don't we make out our list for Santa, and then we could bring it to him when we go get our picture taken. We already did that. Yeah, but I came out a little bloated. <laughs> Isn't that cute? She still believes in Santa. Honey, I believe in anyone that delivers. <laughs> yeah, well, we believe in Edna. Edna Claus? Would that be the missus? <laughs> no, Fran. She's Daddy's personal shopper. She buys all our gifts. Oh, so what you're saying is you give Edna your list and she gives it to Santa. Please, Fran, I wasn't born yesterday. <laughs> if you did believe in Santa, what would you want him to bring you? Daddy for Christmas. Aww. Fran wearing Christian LaCroix. Maxwell, I just wanted to tell you that I've been thinking about things and I really understand how you must feel. I mean, I'd be really upset if you did the same thing to me. Well, I appreciate your saying that, Fran. There's really no need to give back the ring. I'm sure I will get through this eventually. But you know, <clears throat> It's important for you to understand that if two people don't have trust, if they can't be completely open and honest with each other, then all they have is Marla. Marla! I mean, no, uh, Miss Maples! Oh, thanks, Will. I haven't seen you since that night we Yes, 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 yes. Right, um, oh, goodness, how long ago was that now? Oh, six, seven years? A year and a half. Oh, really? <laughs> anyway, Mr. Cyrus, as flattered as I am that you picked me to be your kiss girl, I can't be on your album cover. You're turning us down? I'm afraid I have to. You don't want to be in my new video? No. You don't want to be the kiss girl on my European tour? No. <laughs> How about a couple tickets to the Grammys? There's a party at Streisand's after. What are we really talking about here? The kid is an error. She's got toothpicks for thighs. She'll bounce back. Oh, God, God. No, no, no. I'm sorry, but I can't. Honey, you got to do it. You look great with Billy Ray. Oh. Those teenagers made him look a little long in the tooth. What? Friend, what my ex-manager is trying to say is kissing you will appeal to a much broader audience. Yeah, older broads. <laughs> Sweetie, I knew you were upset, so I made you a little chocolate pudding. You made it? 
Well, I made it to Zabo's before they closed. <laughs> oh, sweetie. You have no idea how your disapproving of the wedding upsets Maggie. I mean, can you imagine how upset I would be if my parents disapproved of me marrying you? I mean, in a world gone mad. Yes, but it just doesn't seem right to me. I mean, she's not ready. Well, it seems right to her, and if you would just stop yelling at her and try listening to her, I think that you would know what it feels like. I can't. I can't talk to her. She'll just look at me, those eyes of hers, and I can't refuse her anything. I thought tonight for a celebratory dinner I would make salmon. Oh, no. Those poor little salmon, they spend their whole life swimming upstream just to be poached for dinner. I was going to barbecue. Mesquite? <laughs> With a teriyaki glaze, that would be perfect for Brighton celebratory dinner. <laughs> My baby's leaving. <laughs> Who put that finger in the cake? You, you did. did. Well, aren't we a bunch of moody musketeers? <laughs> oh, well, I better get to work. Uh, but before I go, darling, I just want to tell you, you are beautiful. You're thin, you're 29, and, oh, the skin on the back of your hand just snaps right back like a rubber band when you <laughs> pinch it. Fran wearing Versace. Grandma Yetta. Yeah. <laughs> Franny, your granddaughter. Oh, Franny. Hi. It's nice to meet you. That's the one good thing about senility. You're always meeting new people. <laughs> How you doing, Angel? <sighs> <coughs> Thank God I still got my health. Let's go, Fran. We're never going to get into the club. All right. Wait, 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 Miss Fine. You're, you're going to a club dressed like that? Oh, yeah, you know, it's part of my therapy. I no longer dress for men. No more jumping on your desk in tight little skirts. No more parading around the house in cute little crop tops or wiggling around in my bikinis on the beach. Oh, by the way, here's the bill. <laughs> what happened to not dressing for men? Well, it's a process. Meanwhile, I mean, does he look depressed? Yeah. Therapy's working. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Sheffield. It's been 22 years. Can't you tell me that you love me already? Miss Fine. <laughs> Concerned about the children. But Gracie's 40. <laughs> Maxwell, I'm sorry I'm late, but my date kept me out all night. Oh, did he change the locks on you again? <laughs> Actually, I didn't even have a date. I lied to make you jealous. Did it work? Well, let's find out. Wait a minute. I thought you two hated each other. Oh, it's fine. You're no Niles. You don't know everything that goes on in this house. Oh, Miss Fine, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll wait outside. Oh, that's all right, Mr. Sheffield. You can stay. We can share Niles. He's like our love child. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's very nice of you to bring him something, but you know he cannot have sweets. No, it's just dried fruit. Oh, well, that he can have. <laughs> oh, Miss Fine, it's so strange seeing him lying there like this. You know, even since we were children, he, he's always been my protector. He helped me get through Eton. I wasn't much of a scholar. He helped me get girls. Yeah, well, a guy with a bubble is a major turn on. <laughs> you know, Miss Fine, when he gets well, things are gonna be different. Mm hmm. For a start, I'm gonna give Niall Saturdays off. No, I'll need him Saturdays. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you, it really makes you think, doesn't it? How unpredictable life can be. Oh, that's right. That's why you have to live every day to the fullest. Mm -hmm. You never know when it's going to be your last. Oh.
Oh, Memphis, champion. 